So it's time to um, start connecting our diodes to our keys now. So um, if we take a diode, just cut it away uh, from the strip that it's in. Just snip either end so that we're left with one single diode. Uh, and then making sure it's the right way round. So the black band is facing down if I hold it that way. We trim the top end, the end that we're going to fix to the keyboard, nice and short. So that's good to go. Uh, and then we just melt a little bit of solder onto that end, it's called tinning, so we just tin that end of the diode, um, a little bit of solder, like so, and then holding it against the end of the key, which has previously been tinned, it has solder on it already, just a quick touch with the iron, and there we are. That is now attached to our key. Uh, we'll trim the other end of it, obviously, before we put our wire on. Um, and that's what we've got to do all the way along the keyboard. So once you've put the first one on like that, just double check that it is the right way round with what's on the other keyboard. Actually it doesn't matter because you, you can have them different ways round on different keyboards. Uh, but as I said earlier, they do all need to be the same way round on the same keyboard because it won't work if they're not. Uh, but I just like to keep them the same throughout the organ since we're sort of building it from scratch we might as well have them all the same. So on the lower keyboard they were facing away from the keys and on this one like that they're also facing away from the keys. Anyway, uh, I'll get on and put all these diodes on and we'll catch up at the end of that.